all right hey guys i wanted to talk about a very common question i get on how you want to manifest something you really really want and there is a beautiful picture of um my favorite one of my favorite beaches caribbean beaches and that's one of my manifestations as well but i digress um so how do you manifest what you want uh, there are three steps to it first ask second believe third receive and i'll break it down because i would want to uh, remember these steps myself but also help others uh, manifest what they want and a lot of the times law of attraction is 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 a little woo woo so people are um, you know sus- suspicious of it uh, and there is a lot of uh, negative resistance to it i had that resistance even though i went through the cycle of first manifesting it manifesting things really well then doubting it went in went into a really bad state in my life was broke lost all my money and then came back from it and started believing it again and uh, and i felt like the second time i executed it i felt more deeper alignment with it now for all the naysayers or people who don't believe in law of attraction i want to say first i am like you i am more scientific i am more logical so this video i want to just approach law of attraction in a more logical way not the woo woo you know energy vibration all that shit okay so let's talk on a very basic scientific level law of attraction is aligning your subconscious mind with your conscious goals right so let's say you have a conscious goal of uh getting a dream job getting a dream relationship moving to your favorite country whatever it is a lot of the time we don't take action to get what we want because we have so much fears anxieties or confusion or dilemma around it right so if you deep down ask yourself what you truly want about this goal you will be always giving me probably a a weird answer or a half baked answer or a half assed answer right so if you really want to get something in life you got to badly want it and i'll give you an example have you ever had a situation where you wanted to go to the, you wanted to go to the restroom but you were procrastinating for days no right if you want to go to the restroom maybe you'll delay it because you're watching a favorite show but at some point nobody can stop you from going to the restroom because you badly want to go to the restroom right <laughs> law of attraction is kind of like that if you badly badly want something you're going to take action i mean it's very logical right if you badly want something nobody can stop stop you from going to the restroom same thing nobody can stop you from getting that thing now you may come to me and say well what if i'm applying for a job but there is 90 other applicants or there is 100 other applicants want the same job so then you're thinking like how will, how can i even manifest that using law of attraction well i've done that many times where there's a lot of competition and i've gotten the one thing that i really wanted and the way i look at it is that the three steps ask believe and receive first you got to really align which is the first step to badly want it when you ask something from the universe or even your subconscious mind you are saying that fuck i really want this and nothing can uh, nothing can stop me from wanting this and i'm very clear i i want this and that's your primary focus and usually with manifestation or any goal achievement right you got to focus on that one thing and be obsessive about it one of the mistakes i have made is i wanted five other things to do at the same time and it really dilutes your focus and energy or uh, you know i i know said i'll not use the word energy but basically your focus and attention is is spread out so when you want to focus on manifesting something just make sure that's the one thing you're focusing on and nothing else you got to be obsessed about that number 2 step is believing in it this is where most folks go wrong um because even if you ask something if you don't believe you can have it what will happen is you'll not take inspired action to have it right so let's say you want that dream job but 
you're not sure if you deserve it if you're not sure you're gonna get it so that's where i want you to work on some internal blocks you have hey why can't i have it what's different about me than somebody else like what does that guy have over me probably nothing or what does this person have over me and if there is something valid this is where the logical aspect of law of attraction makes sense right if there is a real difference between you and that other person you gotta close that gap that's when you start believing it so in my case let's say i didn't have a particular certification when i'm applying for a job or i didn't have the right resume or or the right LinkedIn profile, I logically look at it and say, you know what, this guy is better than me. That's why he has it. So rather than saying, oh, I'll sit here and meditate and attract this dream job, fuck that. I will work towards that every day because first I want to believe it and the only way to believe it is to feel like I deserve it. And when you feel like you don't deserve it, then you need to work towards deserving it, right? And you, if you want to, if you hear somebody say, hey, you know, it doesn't matter if you actually have the things, you still deserve it. That's not being in reality. What I mean by that is you don't have a certification, you don't have the skills, but you still will attract that dream job. That's bullshit, right? So for you to believe what you want, you need to feel like you deserve it. Now you can even fake being deserved and do a well in the interview but to get to the interview you still need to follow some steps right so that's just an example of job search you can apply it can be applied to any other area now once you believe it and feel like fuck i deserve it everything on paper is what i believe to deserve it now the last part is to receive it now the way you receive it is being open to opportunities what i mean by that is Receiving is all about receiving the thing you want and keeping your mind open to opportunities. For example, where do people who have the dream job I want are finding these jobs? Or where does the person I really, really want to be in a relationship is hanging out? That's called being open to receiving that person into your life. But if you're sitting at home, not going out or if you're sitting at home not doing any action which is inspired action which is from step two if you're not taking any action how will you receive it you're actually blocking that opportunity or that you know manifestation so the biggest tools for law of attraction the two most powerful tools you have is your hands right you actually take action and do stuff to get to where you want and uh, the cool thing about that is because it's inspired, it doesn't even feel like work. It feels like, oh, oh wow, I'm moving somewhere. It's progress and progress equals happiness. You need to be enjoying that journey. And the only way to enjoy that journey is that anticipation of getting what you want, the anticipation, the excitement of going where you want to go, right? So once you are in that receiving state, you are going to get so many opportunities, like, you know, the dream job, uh, things that you wanted, like the recruiter calls or... Uh, you know, if you're dating, you know, the right people will walk into your life because you're doing inspired action. You're going out, meeting fun people, social activities and looking at opportunities and being open to it. Because once you're receiving bold, you now have asked for it and you believe it. Your mind subconsciously has primed itself to look for these opportunities, which you were not doing before because first you didn't never got clear on what you wanted. And number two, you never believed in it. So you were not receiving it. And finally, how will you actually do this on a daily basis? Now that you have established and removed all your blocks mindset wise on how you will logically execute law of attraction, how will you do this on a daily basis? You do it by visualizing every day and hacking your mind to believe that you already have it. And you're working in that dream job or with that awesome person that you really love, who accepts you for who you are and loves you. Whatever that is, the final outcome, you have to believe and feel like you already have it by closing your eyes every day for at least a minute. You don't even need more than a minute, to be honest. But you have to feel it in your bone. Like, you have to believe that you're already there, you know. And it could be anything related to the manifestation. So I'll give you a final example and we'll wrap up. I used to 
work for Amazon in Seattle and uh, I hated Seattle. <laughs> oh my God, the weather was so bad and it was raining. So I felt like, you know what, I want to go back to California. I didn't know how I'll get it done, but I knew that I would want to go back. Four months into, jo- into the job at Amazon, I was like, ah, oh, screw it. I don't want to do it. So I decided to visualize how I would feel working in California. Now, I didn't focus on the job. I focused on the feeling. That's very important. Now, all this is doesn't make sense, right? Like, why am I talking about feelings when I'm talking about such a simple career change or a logical thing? Because you want to inspire your subconscious mind and dream about this. Think about this all day. That's why we are doing this illogical thing of visualizing, <laughs> right? So I sat on my desk in Amazon and I put my hands on the table and closed my eyes and I visualized riding my motorcycle in uh, in the California like sunny weather and going to work on my favorite motorcycle like I had a sports bike at that time so I literally visualized the wind uh, flowing into my helmet and I'm enjoying the adrenaline and riding my motorcycle which is one of my favorite things to do when I'm going to work and that inspired me to when i did that two three days i realized you know what i should talk to the recruiters i know i called my favorite recruiter and i said hey i'm open to roles in california do you have anything and he's immediately called me in an hour and said oh you know what we do have one opportunity in yahoo Uh, they are looking for someone similar to you are you open to relocation i'm like yes and the day i started that exercise to the day i moved to california it was probably three weeks So I manifested it in three weeks. I'm not even kidding. So it's very important to align your subconscious to the desire you have to take inspired action, which is me calling the recruiter, preparing for the interview, blah, 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 right? Once you align your subconscious, all of these things will flow and that's when you will manifest. So even in a very logical sense, you're basically, even if you don't believe in vibration, you don't believe in attracting through energy and all this shit, you still on a logical level are aligning your desire to your subconscious mind and believing in it and taking inspired action. And trust me, if you take enough action, you can do most of the things. Most things in life can be achieved through inspired action. I'm, I'm really a big believer in that. Now, there is some element of luck and all that, you know, timing is involved. But I really believe most things, if not everything, right? Most things can be achieved through inspired action. So the the final thought here is that do that exercise, do those three steps, asking it, clarifying what you want, because you need to do those three steps before you do the exercise every day, because if you don't get clear on what you want, you will never even do the exercise because you don't know what you want to manifest, right? So manifest it by asking it, believing in it, which will trigger the actions you need to take to fill the gap right and then finally receiving it is being open to opportunities and doing this exercise every day will help those three steps kick start and and you taking inspired action okay i hope that was useful let me know what you think and let me know in comments what you have manifested using law of attraction which you were really surprised by i'd like to hear that too bye guys